oh my gosh, like guys, <laughs> your girl is a lot. Hi, it's been a minute. It's been a really long minute. I was going through some things and I will talk about that later, but I wanted to take you guys along through my week because I have not seen y'all since like I got my car. I'm sorry, it's, it's been a lot. Today I'm gonna get my nails done. Um, I'll give you guys a real quick uh, fit check as soon as um, I find my AirPods because I have no idea where they went. Hi, oh, my phone. Hi, Ring. We gotta go. I gotta go. But yeah, um, first things first, I got a tent on the car. She's got a tent. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey guys, so um, I'm at the mall to get my nails done. We yeah, went to this other place, mm. but they were like an hour wait, and I was like, mm. no. Um, and then the other place that we went last time, they're not open on Sundays. So it's, I need it now. I need it now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> this very minute. Um, so I didn't get my nails done. We didn't get our nails done. Um, I got a smoothie from Smoothie King. It's gone. Um, but yeah, no, I didn't get my nails done. We got, went to this one place and then there were like an hour wait because there was only two people working. So then we went to this other place at the mall and they're like 45 minutes. And I was like, oh, at this point, we might as well just wait until tomorrow. And then I'm guaranteed, my camera, my battery is about to die. And I, I don't wanna go somewhere and not be guaranteed um, a good quality service. I just, I, I would be so mad if my nails turn out ugly. So tomorrow we're gonna go. I'm gonna go to the book around like five-ish. So I have some things that I need to do at home, like tidy up my room, get prepared for the week. I have to, um, set up my calendar both these batteries are um I have to set up my October calendar what I have for this month and everything like that um I was gonna wash my car today but it's a little chilly and I'd much rather do a hand wash a car wash like the automatic ones because they're just not gonna get everything and then that's like a waste of twenty dollars and I wish we had a hose here otherwise I would do it here but we don't so whatever yeah, i've been gone for a while I'm, i might as well just tell y'all yeah i've been gone for quite a bit y'all know i've had people come up to me and be like hey like why haven't you posted any content da -da 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 -da. truth be told i have been very busy like this semester is killing me like i'm taking 18 hours 18 hours um six of those credit hours though which uh, it's probably like three but um are towards my internship at Cabell Huntington Hospital work in the pulmonary rehab center so that's really cool I've enjoyed my time there um, so I'm gonna be doing that this semester and then I have micro I have Kim 2 Kim 2 lab um, extra uh, sorry um, strength and conditioning and then strength and conditioning lab yeah that sounds about right so yeah I just I'm just always busy mentally like i have been drained i'm exhausted my anxiety is at all-time high everything like that i'm just so stressed out and i feel like that's not talked about enough in the um track and field community or in sports in general like performance anxiety is real like it is so real um i have moderate to severe anxiety it's real bad and it's it's based on performance it's not like oh i have anxiety attacks i have or uh, panic attacks and stuff like that it's not like that it's not like i'm having mental breakdowns every day like you would think and i feel like a lot of times with mental health like people think oh if you have a mental illness like you're supposed to like it's gonna be this 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 and this and to have that you have to meet the criteria and stuff like that and it's not like that at all like for me it's literally my i feel like i put so much pressure on myself throughout track throughout school and it's like if i don't meet those goals then i'm a failure and i know that's not true but it's just so hard to wrap my brain around that like i care how i do in school i care how i do in track i care about this i care about that um and i just i've 
since senior year started I've just been so busy I have so many responsibilities I'm part of the SAC committee here um, football recruiting in my free time which is just luckily it's only on the weekends for that and a couple tasks here and there we haven't really had that much going on so I haven't had to put too much responsibility on that um, and plus we've been gone the football team has been gone most of these weekends. They just had their first home game yesterday, so that's what I was doing yesterday was working the game. Um, I just feel like mental health isn't talked about enough in our athletic community, and it can be challenging. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who think just like me and are like, oh, well, if I don't do good, then people are going to think X, Y, Z about me. And realistically, I know it doesn't matter or anything like that, but it's just hard for me to wrap my head around. Like, I care. <laughs> like, I care about running good. I care about being a good student. Like, I don't want people to think that, oh, just because I'm an athlete, like, I'm not capable of doing X, Y, Z. And I feel like that's where a lot of my anxiety comes from and stems from is really, it's, I'm high functioning. But I feel like I'm not functioning <laughs> anymore. Like, it's just every year there's more and more responsibility and I know like I'm always gonna have some form of responsibility throughout life so that's why I took my own step and um, I started therapy so that's been really good for me just having somebody to talk to that's non-biased and really wants to see you do better mentally and physically because it's just like I'm always tired all the time and I'm still working through it. I'm still trying to get everything together. Um, it's not a cure-all. It's just, you know, being able to talk to people. But yeah, just being able to talk to somebody who is unbiased and want to see you do well and um, won't judge you. Well, they shouldn't judge you. But my therapist here is really good. She's super sweet. Um, but yeah, I just wish that athletes weren't afraid to get help and didn't see it as such a stigma, especially being... Um, black um there is such a stigma with mental health and it shouldn't be like and i i personally believe like people who say that oh therapy doesn't work it's one of those things where it's like oh, okay well realistically it's one of those things that you have to actively put in work for so like if you're not putting in the work of course it's not going to work for you. Like literally like you you have to you have to speak up. You have to say your mind, you have to say your piece. You have to really look in within yourself and be like, "Okay, I need to be for real. Like how am I really feeling? Like what is bothering me?" Like and I know it can be challenging and there's more like each week I truly feel lighter and lighter. And I want to go through the stages and I want to go through everything and figure out like what is the root of stuff. So that's why I really started it because it's like, okay, so if this person keeps telling me this, 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 then this about me, maybe it's something I'm totally just missing. And I want to change that. I don't want with any person like I don't want them to feel like oh my gosh like Micah like why does she act that way da 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 like shoot I don't know let me figure it out but yeah therapy's been really good for me so I'm excited um that I w I'm able to talk about it I'm happy that I'm able to talk about it and it shouldn't be something that I should be embarrassed of so I'm in my healing era and I love it here Week by week, we're getting better. We're getting better here, here, and all around. But yeah, I'm gonna go inside now. Thank you for listening to me, rant. Yeah, this room is a little bit of a mess. But that's okay, I'm gonna fix that. I wanna give you guys a fit check. Yeah, here's the fit. It's got some ripped jeans. And my shoes. See them? Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna clean my room now. Cause I need to. So I'm gonna turn on some music and you're gonna watch me clean.
I did a load of laundry. Now I'm about to go head to the bug for a little bit. With the bag. With the luxury bag. With the bag. Big bag, not the little one. Yes. <laughs> Y'all know my $400 purse that I got for $120. Chased me like three weeks. Hello, guys. The lighting is terrible. Peace and blessings. We're at the buck. Hey. Sit check. I already showed y'all earlier, but. Yeah, we're at the book. There isn't any study rooms, I don't think. So, yeah, unfortunately for me, I will not be recording, but peace and blessings. I will see you guys later, if not tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Um, yeah, I just had practice at 7.30 this morning. It was literally a fight for my life, of course. Um, I don't know. And I got enough, I went to bed at like eight. Like I was really tired last night. So I don't know why i woke up extremely exhausted this morning other than the fact that um i just i'm not a morning person but practice was good i'm heading to my internship now i probably won't record because i'm hipaa but i will see you guys after that so like 12 ish i'll see you guys hey lovelies so i'm off the clock my hair, bro. Uh, I gotta finish up this lab report. Let's do at two o'clock. Um, I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't finish it. So it's good to be honest. And I'm being honest with myself. I didn't finish it yesterday because I didn't have a calculator. <laughs> I didn't have a calculator. So I'm gonna go and do that and then look over the notes before class and then I have class at one. It's 1136. I didn't have my last patient. So. They sent me home. so i'm done with lab um yeah lab was cool i guess um now i'm in like a funky mood i don't like it i want to be out of it i went to the buck for a little bit to work on some kim um i finished up my question set that's due tomorrow so i just gotta finish my kim homework that's due tomorrow and just like review for the exam because he was like yeah we're gonna probably have an exam next week and um, I'm a little confusy, I'm a little confuzzled, so I need to figure that out. But I'm just waiting on Naya, we're about to go get our nails done. And um, yeah, I'll hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll get them done today because she had called and they said that they weren't taking appointments at that time that we were gonna go. We're gonna go at five, around this time, it's like five. Um, so hopefully they're not understaffed or anything like that or i probably will have a mental breakdown um, all right well hopefully i get to show y'all what my nails look like after they're done good morning i just woke up not really i woke up at 6 40 something because rain decided that she wanted to shake her little head because she knew that i was in the house also here are my nails they're a little more pink than I would want them to be, but not bad. Um, yeah, I have a workout today. I don't know what it is. I'll let you guys know. I just really need to wake up. <sighs> so, I work out. There's a 350. Oh, sorry. Two 350s. Woo, with six minutes. And then... Two two hundred. Well, he said the rest is between like four. I'll see. Okay, Lynn. I was in the first one, so my knee hurts. Oh, my butt hurts. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Whew. Hey guys, I'm at the buck, of course. Um, 
I live here. I am having a very bad moment in time. Um, I don't understand what's going on with my homework, and it's due tonight. And um, I only have like four more questions left, but I can't freaking figure them out. So that's cool. Sorry, five questions left. I'm 77.3% done. I need to get 100% done, but I can't figure out the problems. Um, somebody also stole my package yesterday. Um, it was stuff from a Halloween costume and a blow dryer. And a crackhead stole it. So, um, I'm pretty mad about that. My head hurts. I'm probably going to just go home. I was going to cook tonight, but that's not going to be tonight because I don't feel like it anymore. I'm just over it. I'm overwhelmed. I'm uh, borderline having an anxiety attack. Um... But yeah, I'm just, I'm um, over it, I'm over it, I'm over it, I'm probably gonna go home, because I'm so over it. Um, yeah, it's Wednesday. I have Kim today. I have therapy today. I have, um, I'm supposed to, well, we have this nutritionist lady that comes and talks to us every two weeks. She's like an intern here. And we're supposed to have, a, well, we are having a meeting at 8.30, but I just don't want to go and then turn around and leave in 10 minutes, like, so I'm not going to go this week, even though I wanted to go this week. Um, I just don't like being late to my internship, so, yeah, but I have my internship at 9, uh, then Kim... Maybe I will go. Maybe I will go. I also have this mountain of clothes that I need to fold and put away. So I'm gonna do that later. Later, later. Um, I probably should go through my clothes, but that's more of a weekend thing. Also, I'm supposed to start training this um, girl. She's in middle school, um, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I told them Sunday, but I'm going to have to change it to Saturday because I have a recruit on Sunday. Um, but yeah, um, let me go ahead and text them now. Forget it. Hey guys, um, it is currently 8.29. I'm with Kaylee. <laughs> we're at the, I was gonna say we're at the book. Um, we're at the, we're at Drinko, the library. Um, we're taking a healthy, healthy, very healthy break. Hello? Oh. Yep, curse up on the board. <laughs> um, fun fact, actually a really sad fact. Um, I've written cursive J's like this my whole life, and they're simply just supposed to look like this. <laughs> we also have a micro exam tomorrow, so pray for me, because if it doesn't go well, I'm going to have to drop the class, and I, I can't. I, I need to graduate May. I need to. I need to. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. But I just need to relax. I might eat and fold some clothes. Maybe watch The Handmaid's Tale. Just to relax. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've been told that I need to take 30 minutes um, every day to not worry about school or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to fold my clothes and not worry about anything else. And then I'm going to tackle chemistry. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can make the chemistry make sense and i can explain things and yeah i really hope and pray pray for me guys pray for me i need it i need it my body hurts and i have a workout tomorrow i'm back um so i just left the store i went to walmart and then i went to ulta because remember y'all my package got stolen and had blow dryers and freaking pasties so I went to Ulta, because mom was like, oh yeah, you could try Ulta. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, let me check there. And I have it. I have the Revlon blow dryer. I like to make my blow drying drop very easy. So I got that, and then I got my little pasties that I was talking about. 
I don't know if I told you that, but if I didn't, now you know. To make some dinner, I think I'm gonna make some surf and turf. Uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Yeah, some surf and turf. I don't know what they make for the, yeah. Talking to her, you said what? Uh, I wanted to try that because it looked good, low key. I think I might try that tart cherry juice. Yeah. Afterwards, though, um, I didn't have my 9:30 class. Everybody, um, it's Friday, and I'm heading to work. As you can see, um, practice was good at five two hundreds, at twenty eight, and I made it. Or twenty seven, twenty eight. I made it in twenty eight, except for the second to last one. I got there in twenty nine, and then the last one I got in twenty seven. So I'm pretty happy about that. It's been a long week. It's finally over. I'm so excited. I'm having a very humbling experience. I left my keys literally on my desk. So now I'm walking back home. But it's okay. I got the, got the keypad code because I cannot remember it for the life of me. I could not remember. I could not remember. But good morning, you guys. Um, it is Saturday. Last time that I told you guys, or last time I talked to you guys, I was locked out of my house. <laughs> um, I didn't really do too much after that. I cooked dinner, and then I hung up with my cousin because she's in town. But that was about it. I just wanted to enjoy my time with her and whatnot, so I didn't record. Um, but yeah, I had fun. Today I have um, a training session with um, a new athlete of mine. Um, she's in middle school. I won't tell you too, too much about her because that's weird. Um, but yeah, I have a session with her at 2. So I think right now I'm going to just do some chemistry homework. I had uh, come up with like an exercise plan for her today. I think I'm just gonna do like evaluate her for acceleration purposes and then go from there I really want to get her training goals and everything like that before I can start like building her up um, it's kind of hard though because I only have her once a week um, I wish I could have her more times a week but I can't um, but there's not much I can do about that um, but yeah the clothes that I need to fold are still not folded so there's that but yeah i think i'm finally getting myself together after this long and stressful week i do have a chem exam coming up this week and i'm not feeling the greatest but hopefully i don't get sick
All right, guys, I just want to show you all the fit. Here we go. Nothing too crazy. You already know. You guys already know that I love my freaking Letterman. It's warm. It's cozy. Um, I'm not a baseball hat type of girl, but here we go. You know, cute, cute, cute. And just got on some leggings. So, and another thing is that I am now a Liquid IV sponsor. So, use Maline, code Maline um, for 20% off. They're having their annual sale. Sorry, their anniversary sale. Um, so, basically, if you don't know what it is, it's hydration and you can use hydration for it's good for performance sun and heat travel and wellness um it's important to drink all your water during the day i know i'm bad with water and you know most people like to say like oh water's not good like water tastes funny da -da -da -da. which yes some waters do have a taste i don't care um but basically if you want to drink more water during the day um liquid iv is basically it literally explains it like this there's like a little truck on there or two trucks and it says the express lane and the slow lane and they're basically saying like with regular water you're taking the slow lane but look what i be it is the express lane you're gonna get there much faster you're getting more h2o it uses cellular transport technology cct which is which is an optimal ratio of nutrients that delivers hydration rapidly into the, your bloodstream hydrating you two to 2.5 times best i will say certain flavors it makes them like super thick i got the flavor of strawberry this time and you just don't have to put it in water like you can spruce it up i know that people have made like frozen drinks with them paired it with something else i want to experiment with it but you know i'm a busy gal so Sunday. I've just been cleaning up. I really need to do homework and I haven't what the I haven't had the chance to really do that. So I'm just trying to clean ooh lighting. But I'm just trying to clean up right now so that I can feel peace of mind. leaves for the car seat. Ooh. So I just want to end out the video. Um my recruiting dinner was good. It was good. It was good. She ended up not wanting to see a movie, which is fine. Because I had practice at 7.30 this morning. But the week is over. It's now Monday. New week. Well, I guess, anyway, new week. So I just washed my hair, had class and everything. Got out of the lab early. So, my reward is that because I got out of the lab early, I can wash my hair and I did that so I'm gonna do like mini twists I think I'm gonna give myself an hour if I'm not done by five then I won't go to the book today and I'll just study at home but yeah I'm gonna be using my big papa and twisting curl cream I need to get another one of those and I get to use my mirror 
And I bought it for parting. So yeah, I have my little mirror set up. I'm watching Dahmer while I do it. But yeah, overall this week was good. I'm glad I vlogged this week. Because it's been a minute. It's been a really long minute. We'll see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. I miss y'all. I miss recording videos. But 